now we made it to the point where the hike actually starts it's only 4.2 kilometers to the top but it's 11:40 already and here in this area it's getting dark around 2:40, so we have to be really quick and trust me you really don't want to hike in this area when it's dark This ground is exactly the reason why you need the spike shoes. Come back to the road, mate. Too dangerous for you. Already the first hurdle for the day. We wanted to park up close to the mountain to have a shorter way to walk up, but uh, the road is closed for winter, meaning that we are actually starting two to three kilometers before we were supposed to start. But first we need to switch shoes. I never thought it would be that important, but in Norway at this time of the year, you need something with spikes. Also, they are really warm compared to my other regular leather boots. Well, and never forget your gloves. These ones are custom made to use a camera while it's cold. Are you enjoying this? It looks like we decided for the right day for the high grade pups. The weather looks amazing. Last year we did this part by car and it was a bit easier than walking, I have to admit. This ground is exactly the reason why you need the spike shoes. With a road as icy and steep as this one, I fully understand why they closed it down. Everything is interesting, right? You can come. Now it's 11.40 and it's getting dark at 2.40, so we have three hours to go up and down again because I would really like to make it out of the dark. We really don't want to hike then. This is looking rather slippery, I would say. Everything is a bit snowed in today, but you see these little red poles there? That's how Norwegians mark their hiking roads up the mountain and they are really useful, especially if everything is white like that. In Norway in winter you're actually really happy when you see footsteps in the snow because if there were people then it's kind of reassuring that you're not walking straight down the cliff but are actually on the right path. Look at that view. Even he decided to sit down. We're the first half hour in. I'm not 100% sure how far we went but I think and if I remember correctly then this hill straight behind me is the first peak and then once you hit that there is like 20 minutes left to another peak. And that's the goal for today. So, so far we're good in time. I would appreciate that. It's part of the German DNA, you know? Okay, while filming, you actually need to be quite careful. Oh, sorry, again slide. While filming, you need to be actually quite careful that you're not losing track of the footsteps because that happens quite easy. And we don't want to have 20 minutes added on the actual hike. This is exactly what I meant. We were supposed to walk between this little hill and the mountain, but I got a bit off track while filming and walked farther to the right. And as you see, you also never know what's below the ice 
on the puff it will be okay but here it's quite deep so you're happy when you don't step into the next little river and you can trust me with this one last winter i stepped into one of the little creeks up here and had wet socks for the whole day at minus six it's not something that's necessarily desirable come back to the road mate To have a coffee with mountain water on the top, which is I think classic. I brought that bottle and let's see if we can break up this little creek to fill it up. So let's go ahead. I'm just using a stone if I can get one out of here to break up the ice. Oh yeah, this one could be enough. Perfect. The first zip you always need to have straight away. Nothing better than that. Mountain water for the coffee. Check. You're a bit off road. We have to go there. Come on. Get yourself together. Level two out of four. It's getting steeper. I'm not sure if you had enough of me for today. Yuki, are you waiting for me? That would be nice. I told you to be careful with the creeks. You need to be more careful than me. And I think I was kind of careful. Somewhat wet socks, but I'm sweating like hell anyway, so I guess shouldn't be a problem. Despite the wet food, we were quite good in time and let's say Yuki wasn't the one that was holding us back sometimes. But by taking the road a little bit slower, you at least have the time to enjoy the scenery to the fullest and play around a bit on the way. Or in Yuki's case, to have a nap now and then whenever you find a especially cozy piece of snow. Eventually, we made it through the last stretch and reached the top just shortly after 1 p.m. There were a few clouds coming by and together with the pretty strong wind up there it doesn't make it the coziest place on the planet. So we decided to just take a few pictures and then make it a bit back down the mountain to find a place that's a bit more comfortable to rest in. Just to be a bit careful I decided to push the lunch break a bit. We'd rather go halfway down again and then have it there than going the danger of getting into the darkness. One hour, 45 minutes left until that happens. Uh, yeah, you, you know the story by now. This area here is purely peaceful. There's literally nobody down at the entrance and that one guy that checked out his cabin. But that was it. With me. At this point I decided that it would be a better idea to backtrack our footsteps and get back to the road instead of finding a completely different way. It's simply not the best idea to get lost on a mountain if you're up there together with a puppy. Soon back to where we lost the track. Never do bullshit on mountains. Mark that in your books. Yes, we're back. 
this was more adrenaline than I needed. But uh, at least you know you're alive, right? 40 minutes until it gets dark. We have to be really quick now. Finally goes downhill. I guess we can make it in half an hour. We have to make it in half an hour. I have to admit, this guy, Yuki, is way better at finding the track than I am. Where I have been going wrong, he has been always following the right path, even though I didn't really know where we were. If you have a dog, for real, trust his nose. We made it down just in time. It's literally 14, 38, right behind me, there's the parking lot. And the only reason we are in time is his nose. It's definitely not my mountain skill, but I guess that's why dog and human are quite a good team. We're making our way down to the car. Kind of running now because it's, uh, oh, what is it? Five, six minutes left until sunset. I tell you, this little bit of adrenaline, this little adventure spirit is what I'm actually striving on now. I may know that some of you think it's quite stupid to do stuff like that, but I'm not completely not so. I'll try to see where my limits are, but I have a tendency to go pretty close to these limits. But I guess that's what it makes it worthwhile for me. You can like it or not, but uh, life is a bit more spicy that way. Right, Yuki? You're also kind of an adventure dog, right? I know you're tired. You get the biggest meal when we're home and you can sleep in the car. Is that nice? Yes. Dinner definitely tastes better when you have been outside all day. These are just the highlights of the week. And I guess uh, this guy here also enjoys it. Almonds and raisins, you know. It was supposed to be my lunch, but I'm fine with this. <laughs> 